All right, so here's our kitchen before. We want to put up some chair rail. And first step's coming. For a nice end, we cut a little 45 and we'll glue that in there and finish it off. So this is going to come over, hide those holes, give it a nice clean look, and be the top part of your chair rail mold. There you go. Installed. I glued the back of this so it keeps it firm on this piece and then essentially it's one unit. And then we made little end caps. I'll glue that in. That's kind of just pressed in tight. And then all the cracks you see will be caulked in a little bit of white sanding, smooths it and rounds it. Okay, so we made a uh, frame, wall frame, just uh, 45, four corners, put it together, nailed it, Brad nailed it and glued it, and then we're going to nail it right here to the wall, we'll have it all laid out, and that's what it's going to look like, something like that. Okay, so here's the finished product. My husband did a fantastic job. He's very handy. He did this in a couple of hours all together. Um, it's simple panels and a chair rail, painted white from the chair rail down, all of it. Uh, you could just paint the molding itself white and have a contrast to the wall color. I don't know if you could tell, but the wall color is a light dusty gray and the rest is white. Bad lighting right now. Um, and there you go. Adds a lot of character to a very plain wall. I love it. Um, thinking of putting a mirror on the wall to add more light in here, reflect. I'm not sure yet. Okay, there you go.